What are you worried about? That somebody breaking in and stealing, you know, it's guns, you know, guns, bullets, knives, you know, I'm worried. The owner of this Volusia County gun store says the community was put at risk when his security system abruptly malfunctioned. He says the gun store's alarms and surveillance cameras just stopped working on the very same day the power company replaced his electric meter. So he contacted News 6 investigator Mike DeForest. And Mike, the gun store owner was scared about potential thieves. <laughs> That's right. He tells me he slept at the gun store for several nights to protect those weapons. Now, the owner speculates that a power surge or maybe some other abnormality may have damaged his cameras and alarms. When gun store owner Sadi Garcia closes up shop each night, he takes precautions to secure these weapons, such as activating the burglar alarm. Is this what it's supposed to do? No, it just keeps going. And every morning lately, I come in and it's doing that. Which means it's not protecting your business. No, not at all. Nearly two months ago, Garcia says his security system suddenly malfunctioned. It doesn't work, period. What about the cameras? Nothing, nothing works whatsoever. As you can see on this video monitor, there are no images from the many surveillance cameras that keep watch over Garcia's store. I got over 300 handguns and, and probably another 100 rifles and thousands of bullets. I don't want those, those things in people's hands that are not supposed to have them. Why was this arsenal no longer being protected? That's the meter that they put in new. So this is a brand new meter? This, yeah. Garcia blames it on the installation of this electric meter. He says he was unaware it was being replaced until a gun sale got interrupted. And we're doing the background check when suddenly the computers, the lights started to, uh, you know, turn off and on. Garcia says he ran outside and took a photo of these two workers. And when I confronted them, he said that they were t having problems pulling the meter out. After discovering his security system was damaged, Garcia contacted Duke Energy. The power company told him the meter replacement was actually performed by one of its contractors, Scope Services. According to Garcia, Scope Services sent a representative to his gun store. And he said, you know, you're right, everything's is damaged. They're going to have to pay. But weeks later, the contractor denied Garcia's claim. A spokesperson for Duke Energy tells News 6 damage claims associated with meter installations are the responsibility of the contractor who performed the work. So we contacted Scope Services. The contractor told us we have investigated it at length and determined Scope is not responsible for the damage. And I figure that being a gun shop that they would turn around and help me, you know, paying me so I can get my system up and running immediately. But it seems like Duke and Scope don't care. An executive with Scope Services would not tell us why the company denied the claim. Now, Garcia says he just spent about $4,000 out of his own pocket to replace the security system. So, Matt, it is working right now, and his gun okay, store good. is once again protected. But for a while there, it was vulnerable, he said. But it brings up a good question. If they change your meter, obviously they didn't alert him of this. Yeah. Is it possible to damage electrical equipment? I'm told it is possible, but extremely rare. When a meter is replaced, the power is turned off. Now, whenever power is turned back on to a home or business, a Duke Energy spokesperson says that older electronics can occasionally be damaged. But Garcia tells us his security system was fairly new. You wonder, though, after seeing this report, just how many other people out there also have had problems with a new meter. Uh, we've seen reports out there yeah. of people complaining of similar things. His fridge went out. We see that with hmm. uh, a lot of people yeah. who say that with, uh, when they get new meters. Uh, so we'll wait to see and what he else. He went right yeah. out there and took a picture. He knew what was going on. All right. Mike DeForest, very interesting. Thank you.